द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ टू नाइन वन सिक्स इज टू डू द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन फर्स्ट वी शुड फ्रेम इट इन दिस वे सी दैट इज टू नाइन वन सिक्स ओके नेक्स्ट For this number, the last digit is six, which is e one. So we take two here. The first number is two. When do we get two in two table? Two ones two. The other number nine. A number close to nine in two table is two fours eight. Nine minus eight is one. One carried forward, making it eleven. A number close to eleven in two table is two fives ten. 11 minus 10 is 1. 1 carried forward, making it 16. When do we get 16 in two table? 2 8 16. 16. Now for this number, the last digit is 8, which is e1. So we take 2 here. The first number is 1. 1 smaller than 2, so we take two numbers. That is 14. Whenever we take two numbers, we compulsory should put 0. But at the start, whether I put zero or not, it doesn't make any difference. So I am not writing zero here. So here we have fourteen. When do we get fourteen in two table? Two sevens fourteen. The other number five. A number close to five in two table is two twos four. Five minus four one one carried forward, making it eighteen. When do we get eighteen in two table? Two nines eighteen. Now for this number, the last digit nine, not e one. So this number not divisible by two. Next prime number three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is seven plus two plus nine. We get eighteen. Is eighteen divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number seven, a number close to seven in three table is three two six. Seven minus six one one carried forward, making it twelve. When do we get twelve in three table? Three four twelve. Next number nine. When do we get nine in three table? Three three is nine. Now for this number, the last digit three, which is not e one. So this number not divisible by two. To check divisibility by three, for that we add the digits. That is two plus four plus three. We get nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number two two smaller than three. So we take two numbers. That is twenty four. Whenever you are taking two numbers, compulsory you should put zero. But at the start, whether I put zero or not, it doesn't make any difference. So no need to write zero here. Here we have twenty-four. When do we get twenty-four in three table? Three eights twenty-four. The other number three. When do we get three in three table? Three ones three. Now for this number, last digit one, not even. So this not divisible by two. Next prime number three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is eight plus one, nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number is eight. A number close to eight in three table is three two six. Eight minus six is two two carried forward, making it twenty one. When do we get twenty one in three table? Three sevens twenty one. Now here we have twenty seven. Twenty seven is three nines twenty seven. Nine is three three is nine. Now we have three three is a prime number, so three one is three. We got one here. So the prime factorization of two nine one six is the product of these numbers. Okay, product of these numbers that is two into two into how many times did we get three? One, two, three, four, five, six. So into three into three into three 
into 3 into 3 into 3. This is the prime factorization of 2916. This also called as product of prime numbers of 2916. Am I clear?